Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your October the 2nd spiritual principle a day in a meditation. The title of that meditation today, Trust is a Conscious Decision. Even though we do not know how our lives will change as we work this step, we can learn to trust that our higher power will care for us better than we could. That comes from It Works, step three. As newcomers, many of us struggle with the aspect of 12-step recovery that we don't easily understand. Sure, spirituality is practical around here, but that doesn't mean it's straightforward. We describe our spiritual awakenings to new, newer members, but the explanations often make for more head scratching. With most things in life, in count step three among these, we can't know the outcome before having the experience. The meaning of our decision to turn our will over to the caring higher power or to a caring higher power is lost on many of us. Instead of applying our brain power, we need to nurture hope, faith, and trust. Hearing about the changes in the lives of other addicts gives us something to go on as we begin to develop some trust in NA. We listen to other members talk about trusting in a higher power they don't completely understand. We hear from people of faith, people who askew religion, and everyone in between. According to one member, working step three is a decision to open a door. I may not know what's on the other side, but I've gained a measure of trust in that decision because I know my life hasn't fallen apart whenever I've cracked open that door. Trust is a conscious decision we put into action daily in some way or another by sidelining fear and taking a risk. We do our best. But some days... Acting as if we trust in a higher power is all we have to go on. Lots of us abide by a fake it till you make it attitude. Along with faith, we take a leap of trust. Sometimes we fly, sometimes we flop. Growth can be a bruising process. We experience rejection or not getting what we'd planned for so carefully. Sometimes the gifts we receive in recovery come wrapped in dirt, a member tease. But we're okay because we're learning to trust the process. We'll turn it over again tomorrow. I don't have to rely on what I think I know because I am learning to trust. Whatever happens today, I'll practice loosening my grip on results and muster some faith that I'll be okay. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the Wii version of the Serenity Prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, Please and thank you. Trust is a conscious decision, right? And it it's best friends with trust. I mean, best friends with faith, right? Faith and trust go together. For some reason, faith almost seems less personal than trust. But they're very similar. And sometimes people consider them synonymous. Faith oftentimes is spoken of as though it's a noun, right? It's something to have and to hold, to keep. I have faith, right? Do you have faith? Yes, I have faith. Okay, so what do you have faith in? And then easily you could say, I have faith in God. I have faith in, oh, okay, you have faith in God, so you trust God. Mm, 
trust God. Yeah, yeah, I trust God. You trust God to handle your affairs when you don't know what to do. Yes, I do. That's some faith. So they're synonymous, right? They work together. They're like best friends. And the question today is, are we making the conscious decision to trust in our higher power, the God of our own understanding? It's important to understand that that step three is some of the first opportunities that you're going to encounter spiritual principles that are asking you, what do you believe in? Do you even have a God that you understand? Or does it need to be adjusted so that you're actually able to have an active relationship with this higher power that you claim is your God. See, this isn't just, you know, I love how they write it and make it seem kind of comical, but this is deep. This is not just, this is not, um, I'm, I'm j- I think I can do it, I will do it, I'm gonna do it, self-willing, no. This is about having trust in the God of your own understanding. Whoever, whatever, however that is. But the truth of the matter is, is sometimes we drop the ball, we fail, we flop. There's more to this than just rattling off the third step. In some respects, it's like an a, a inventory of our spirituality. It's a spiritual program and not a religious. That sounds real good until you come from a religious background and you figured out that it didn't work for you and you need to figure out if I don't believe in that God anymore or that religion anymore, or I have a resentment, or I'm atheist, or I'm agnostic, I'm secular, but this is telling me that I need to take this step in order to continue the process of recovery yeah it's real slick to speak it until it comes down to you actually doing it and i i I just feel that's a place where a lot of addicts stop they don't want to have the conversation with themselves so they darn sure aren't about to have the conversation with a sponsor which means that i'm getting clean and i'm self-willing staying clean I had enough faith to get clean and I'm going to believe that this faith that it took to get clean is going to keep me clean until something happens. Like a divorce, a um, uh, bankruptcy, uh, job loss, a uh, loss of a loved one, loss of a child, a parent. And then when the stuff hits the van, the meetings become our higher power sometimes a power greater than ourselves, other people. But at the end of the day, that doesn't mean that you still don't have to do your third step. So today, my faith is strong. I have trust, conscious. I make a conscious decision to trust in the God of my own understanding, which I don't have to explain to anybody. That's your absolute right. But the proof is in the pudding. There's days I act like I don't have a higher power at all. And it caused me great pain. And I can say, oh, that was my disease acting. No, the girl, that was you. You did that. And you chose to do it. And it was premeditated. You thought about what you were going to say, how you were going to act, and you did that. Don't throw it on the disease like it's this uh, other being. (laughs) Now, the drugs, now, that's a whole nother spirit, right? But me, myself, and I, no. I don't get to blame the disease anymore for my behavior because I know too much, right? 
I've experienced being up against a wall, a brick wall and deciding, you know what? I'm not getting ready to have that fight. I'm just not going to do that because in order for me to roll up my sleeves and take on certain situations, uh, it's going to take me completely out of my new character, right? My recovering character. And I just don't, nobody's worth that. And it doesn't mean I haven't clowned. I have. But today, I make a conscious decision to trust God. It's a decision. And it, after I make it, there's action that is visible, usually, outwardly. People can see that I've made a decision to trust God. My name is Mary Stream. I hope that was helpful for you today. I enjoyed talking about that. Have a beautiful day on purpose. Talk to you tomorrow.